2026, Raytheon is developing a next generation version of the venerable tow anti tank missile. Washington, Raytheon is developing a next generation version of the venerable tow anti tank missile. Its range will be almost 50% greater than the current TOW 2B and twice that of the original model introduced in 1970. And it will likely boast a new fire and forget option will allow the missile to guide itself to the target without a human gunner steering it. With this and other improvements, the Army plans to keep the TOW family in service into the 2050s. That's eight decades after its introduction, a lifetime comparable to the Army CH-47 Chinook helicopter and the Air Force's B-52 bomber. In fact, the tow missile was mandatory equipment for the original version of the Army's future replacement for the M2 Bradley, the optionally manned fighting vehicle. While the service is now rebooting OMFV with all options on the table, Raytheon is still aiming to deliver the next-gen version on the original timeline, 2025-2026 of the tow has been upgraded and replaced since the early days. Of the many variants currently in service, the latest anti-tank model, the tow 2B, already has a 4.5 km, 2.8 mile, range, compared to 3 km, 1.9 miles, for the original model, and a completely different warhead. The original tow impacted directly on an enemy tank's armor and exploded, using the shaped charge effect to blast through armor. Such warheads proved so devastating to traditional steel plate that both the Soviet Union and the West invested massively in multi-layered composite armors combining different materials to defuse the blast. So, now, the TOW 2B flies over the target and then detonates above it, the explosion creating slugs of molten metal, known as explosively formed penetrators, that rip at high velocity through the vulnerable top armor. Experts told me, is to replace the rocket. An entirely new rocket motor and improved aerodynamic design will carry the warhead more than 6.5 kilometers, 4 miles, significantly shortening time to impact at shorter ranges in the process. Originally tow referred to how the missile spooled a control wire behind it, a towed wire, as it were, that let the operator fly it precisely to the target like a plane. The official, contrived, acronym is tube-launched, optically tracked, wire-guided. Nowadays the W stands for wireless, because ever since 2009, the more modern versions dispense with the physical wire. Even so, a human being still has to fly the toe to the target. That's a feature the Army actually likes for a lot of situations. It allows the high precision of a trained human gunner and a manual override if the original target was misdesignated, a crucial feature in counterinsurgency conflicts with civilians on the battlefield and strict rules of engagement. But it also potentially exposes the human gunner to enemy fire if the target or its teammates see or hear the missile launch and calculate where it's coming from. Future generations of TOW won't take away the option for human control, but they could add an autonomous mode where the human operator can designate a target, fire, and then get undercover while the missile guides itself.